Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I'm back with another carving tips video. Um, and what I want to talk about today is carving curves. Um, now it may sound fairly straightforward uh, and to be perfectly honest it is, um, but to do it properly and to do it right without sort of too much risk of ruining things, um, there are a couple of little things that you can do. Um, as you can see here, I've got a blank uh, that I've been working on and as you can see here and here, I've marked out sort of two little curves just to put a little bit of sort of detail um, into the handle just to make it look a little bit different. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to bring the camera a bit closer in so you can see what I'm doing and I'll just quickly run you through uh, what is in my mind the easiest way of putting in sort of curves like this without risking too much uh, damage if you, if you mess it up. Right then guys, so here we are and what I've done um, since uh, moving the camera around, I've just put a quick cut with a saw down here, down to the end of my line. Um, and this is the first way of doing this, probably the easiest way if you have a saw with you and it's, it's the way you want to do it. Um, now that will basically act as a stop cut. So what will happen, as I'm carving towards it, my knife will get to the end of that stop cut and as the name suggests, it will stop. Um, and I can take away quite a lot of material with very little risk. If I go too far, it's just gonna hit in here and stop, um, which is what it's designed to do. Um, so it will allow me to very, very quickly work that material away. I can then flip this round. Um, you can, obviously you can't see the, the markings from here, but essentially all I'm doing is working now towards an area that has nothing for me to come in contact with. So if my, if my knife does slip through a little bit, not a problem. And again... You know, I won't go the whole way down, but essentially you've seen how close I've got to those lines in a, a really, really short period of time. And it's given me a, a fairly pronounced, nice looking curve. I can continue that down all the way to the line without any kind of issue. Um, the second way of doing it is if you don't have a saw or you don't want to use a saw, again, not a problem. What you want to do, start sort of from the middle, take a few small little cuts without going too far, flip it round, and then come back the other way and join up with the cuts that you've made. Um, what that will do, by taking smaller cuts and not, you know, what, what people for some reason try and do, especially if you're new to carving and you don't know any better, you'll try and take a big sweep from this side to this side in one go. Now I won't do it because it will ru ruin a perfectly good spoon blank, but what will happen is you'll end up splitting off a piece of material that'll end up running all the way down your wood um, and then you'll lose part of your handle. So what, as I say, just take it nice and slowly, nice and easily and gently, and work your way from the middle outwards, and I'll, I'll do that while I'm talking, just to sort of uh, show you how quick and easy that is. So again, work into the middle, don't go past your middle point, flip it round, start from the other side, And what you're left with in, as I say, pretty much a fairly short period of time. Just give it that last bit. And what you're left with is a curve very similar to the other one. You've got down very close to your lines. You can keep doing that all the way through um, until you reach where you want to get to. Um, and as I say, that is just a, a really quick and easy way of putting a curve into something. Um, now what I did do prior to this video Hopefully you can see that there. There's, there's quite a lot of material still up here at the end of the handle because I'm not sure where I'm going with it yet. But I actually just very, very sort of briefly thinned this area down um, so that it was thinner than up here. If you are putting in a curve, the thinner the material is, the better. Um, and the reason for that is there's less material to take away. So you're not putting as much pressure on, you're not putting as much uh, effort into it. Um, and really for me, the sort of tips like this for carving, that's what that's all about, is getting the, the best possible result out of the maximum amount of effort. So there you go guys, hopefully um, you know, another fairly simple and, and hopefully quite useful tip from me, um, how to put a curve into a piece of wood. Um, again, it really is dead simple, and, and the whole purpose of these these tips videos is, is really just to sort of uh, you know pass on some of the experience and some of the the, uh, the, the tips that I've learned from people um, because they are really useful. And until somebody tells you, you know, you're not going to know. Um, but I hope it was useful, guys. Uh, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys. Yeah.